Tired of being cooped up, ready to get outside? Let's go hunting for fossil shark and mosasaur teeth in Mississippi. Well, where and how do we look? A few minutes considering the paleogeography of Mississippi will set the stage for our local fossil pursuit. About 70 million years ago during the Cretaceous period, most of Mississippi was underwater, ocean water. During that time, sharks and mosasaurs were abundant and roamed over the area of most of the state. Fast forward to 50 million years ago, this was the Eocene. Whales on steroids, bacillosaurs came into the picture, while mosasaurs and some sharks became extinct, according to Bakker, a paleontologist. The coastline receded and the overlying central Mississippi geography was transformed into a more limited marine habitat for the swimming carnivorous beasts. 18 million years ago in the Miocene, the Megalodon, a huge shark nightmare mode, was dominant, according to the timeline map seen in the online publication Formation and Evolution of the Delta. It appears that Megalodon fossil teeth might be more geographically prevalent around and south of Jackson, as the Mississippi shoreline had moved further south by that time in geologic history. With this paleogeography in mind, the entire state of Mississippi is scattered with multiple collection points for the teeth of the ancient swimmers, according to Dockery. As I explored easily accessible sites, I came down to one favorite, the W.M. Browning Frankstown Fossil Site in North Mississippi. This choice limits us to fossil shark teeth and mosasaur teeth Megalodon and Bacillosaur teeth can be found further south. So where and how does an interested person look for these predator fossil treasures of Mississippi? Permission has been given to the public to search for fossils in the stream bed at W.M. Browning Fossil Park located in Baldwin, Mississippi. It is also known as the Frankstown Fossil Site. The Frankstown W.M. Browning Cretaceous Fossil Park is in north, northeast Mississippi on Highway 45, just north of its intersection with Highway 30. The collection site is within the 20 Mile Creek Gully in Prentice County under the I-45 bridges. It's possible to wade the shallow creek bed as you explore for fossils. Remember, if you go in a cold time of the year it's going to be cold and you're going to get wet so my recommendation is probably May through September possibly <clears throat> Scapanorhynchus or goblin shark fossils are the most common fossils at the Frankstown fossil site this is an upper tooth and this is a lower tooth notice that the upper tooth has the lateral denticles You may leave with many fossils in a single excursion. That is very possible. This beautiful upper tooth was found by Daryl Barnes and Brent Labors in August of 2019. The Manning and Dockery Bulletin is useful in identifying fossils found at the site. This is invaluable, and I have read this two or three times. What a nerd, what a dweeb, and a geek. But if you're listening to this, you're probably one too. The publication by Manning and Dockery mentions mosasaur teeth and other mosasaur fossils found at the Frankstown site as rare as expected. I have not found them, although others have. In the video checklist, let's go fossil hunting at Baldwin, Frankstown, Mississippi, amateur paleontologist Daryl Barnes, me, reviewed proper equipment and precautions for hunting fossils at the site. Safety is first, and then uh, also remember the buddy system. Do not go there by yourself. It is very remote. In this picture, Dr. Barnes demonstrates a sifter he created for finding fossil shark teeth, and as a matter of fact, it looks like a lower tooth is being demonstrated as we look on. 
in the YouTube video Fossil Hunting at Baldwin, Mississippi, Fossil Park Number 1, the process of digging and sifting to find fossil shark teeth is demonstrated. The idea is that creek sand and rocks are shoveled into the sifter. It's shaken like painting for gold to filter the sand and leave the larger stuff which we hope contains fossils. Successful sifting this time resulted in the find of a lower Scopanorhynchus goblin shark tooth. The W.M. Browning Cretaceous Fossil Park in Northeast Mississippi is highly recommended for your next Mississippi outdoor excursion. In this COVID-19 time of social distancing, this is a refreshing outdoor adventure. Shark teeth can be found there in abundance. It's a great starter location for your fossil hunting itch. Get outdoors and discover beautiful tropical or subtropical Mississippi.